Does it ever feel like life is unfair? Does it seem to you like God is constantly allowing injustice to occur all around you? Almost to the point like it seems he doesn't care. Have you found yourself crying out to God to just do something? If you've ever felt this way, I'm sure it's of little comfort to tell you, well, you're not alone. I mean, that's such a trite platitude to say. And really, what's my problems and feelings got to do with yours? But there's a reason why I'm bringing this up, so please, just hang in there. For the past several years now, I've done quite a deep dive into eschatology. And if you had a chance to have watched this video, you would know a little about that story. But what I never talk about is the challenges that have come with studying the Bible and the immense amount of news that's going on. Watching the injustice in the world from global corruption to political power plays to trafficking to election distrust, and then sifting through not just news, but fake news and rumors, and just doing my best to finally get to the truth, only to find that your conclusions could possibly be far from the truth. And then there's people like me out in YouTube land offering their opinion using what they think they know. Well, today I read what might be considered an obscure little book of the Bible, Habakkuk. Or Habakkuk. <laughs> and to be honest, it's the first time I've ever read it. But it struck me today because Habakkuk's position is so relatable to myself. And I bet a lot of you who are actually watching this. Now, I encourage all of you to read this short three chapter book, which might only take you about five to 10 minutes to read. But please allow me to paraphrase just a few verses here. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? How do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrongdoing? Strife and conflict abounds. The wicked hem the righteous so that justice is perverted. And isn't that exactly what we see today? It seems like truth that has been around for centuries is being suppressed so that wickedness can prevail. But here's where things get interesting because God responds to Habakkuk. Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. For I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you were told. Look, I read these passages and believe it or not, I actually find a little comfort in this because it makes me wonder, well, God, okay, I know you've got this, but what are you doing? I, I also realize though that no matter how much I try and figure things out and how things look, Look, I'm probably going to be 99% incorrect as to the way and purpose of what God is doing. I mean, look, after all, God said in Isaiah 55, 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither, neither are your ways my ways. So understanding all this, what am I to do? And so paraphrasing the end of chapter three, here is the conclusion. I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. He is my strength. Now look, I have no doubt a few of you watching this will look at this and say, well, these are just words. This doesn't put food on my table. This doesn't fix my broken car. It doesn't fix my marriage. This doesn't heal my children. And believe me, having gone through some incredible challenges myself, these are truly hard, hard words to hear. But if I can encourage you, having gone through these things myself, clinging to God, even to the point of clinging to him minute by minute, and then coming out the other side, I look back at my situations actually grateful for what God did in my life. Look, it wasn't easy, but I promise you, I am actually a much better man for it today. Folks, that's my word today. I, I really hope it made a difference in someone, even if it was just for the sake of just saying, hey, hang in there. And as always, look, I thank you folks for watching and being willing to hear what I have to say. And that's it. I hope to see you guys next time.